Hello. Welcome to another episode of Church House Productions in the Studio Series. Today we'd really specifically like to talk about reverb, that wonderful thing that fattens up your sound, places at different places in the mix, makes everything sort of sound a little better and a little bigger. Specifically, for this studio we're going to talk about natural reverb, something we have because of the way the studio is put together that a lot of places don't get to do. I like to call where we're playing here Inspiration Point, up in the balcony, overlooking the rest of the house. And basically, you see we can put microphones up here, we can put your headphones up here, everything's coming from downstairs in the studio proper in the mix, but we can place the amp somewhere else in the house. And what does that give you? Natural reverb. Big natural reverb. <laughs> that sound coming from? Where do we put the amplifiers? Well, as much as this is in the studio and we like showing you things, let's take a walk and we'll show you where it comes from. Now the beautiful thing about playing here and playing in this studio is I have a whole lot of natural space and a whole lot of natural light, uh, especially the uh, inspiration point I think is beautiful when you're doing it at a day like today where you have sunlight coming in through the stained glass windows. But it's also pretty cool at night when we set up the things other places. We just have the lighting on is very nice. But the amplifier itself is tucked away all the way in here in the front room. There we go. And actually if you look at it, inspiration point is up there. We're down here, and the amp's actually pointed in the back direction. Another beautiful thing for reverb, stone walls. And as you can see, we don't really have the amplifier on that loud. Playing through a little Pro Crow Rat distortion pedal. And as you notice, the reverb is set at what? Zero. So everything you're hearing here is natural reverb just because of the type of ceilings we have, the type of structure we have, the type of walls we have. Where does that sound go? Well, we put the microphones up top with you. A lot of times we'll place a microphone in front of the amplifier too, our two mics up there, and everything else rolls back right into the studio. So we have the studio proper, and everything's just going into the mixing boards and into the systems we have here but you can play out there. You could play in here and have the mic upstairs. Same thing, it would still be great sounding. And we have nothing better than having kids walking around the house when you're playing. So we'll go back up to where we were at Inspiration Point. And we've returned. And since I'm set up, and I don't have much else to do with my time, I think I might just sit up here and play a little bit. Thanks a lot for watching this episode. We'll talk to you again in the future. Thank <laughs> you.